Hey guys, it's Sim Queen, and this is part 258 of the Aspirations Challenge. Uh, so in the last episode, we had baby Cheyenne, so we officially have three daughters now. Um, and what else was happening? Uh, I think that was kind of pretty much the main focus of the last episode. Uh, so Kai, uh, he's feeling a little bit better right now. He's feeling inspired, but overall he is depressed, even though him and his husband Ty did... Oh no. <laughs> not like this. Not like this. Kai, I do not want you to die like this. Oh, it's okay. You know what? Scarlet and Jackson are on it. They're they're not gonna let him die. But I do need a screenshot though, because you know, clickbait. Poor Kai. <laughs> Poor Kai. I was just in the middle of saying this guy has just absolutely been through it. Um his ex husband passed away in the last episode. Is he good? I can't even tell. He is good. Okay, you know what? Go take a, a shower because that was rough. Obviously, now things are destroyed in the house. We have to, like, fix the coffee table. Oh, I can't even fix things? Hold on a second. Usually, once things burn, you can, like, click on it to replace it. But that's not even an option right now. Okay, hold on. You need... He needs more than just a quick shower, apparently. Um... That's so odd. Usually, yeah, you can just click and there's an option to replace that item. This I'm just going to, I guess I'll just have to like do it this way. I wonder what happened there. Oh, now I have to like manually move everything. Oh wait, hold on. That went back to normal. I'm so confused. The original one went back to being not burnt. Oh, you just click on it and it gets better. I'm so confused. Okay, you know what? This is just weird. Uh, we do need to like clean this up though. So I'm go going to just move it out of the way so we can get that cleaned up. I will get Kai to go over here and clean the floor. Throw away that little ash pile. Meanwhile, oh, Scarlet is moving Georgia May away from the fire. Obviously, we're, we are quite far away. There's nothing to worry about. Um, okay, Scarlet, we need to go take care of the cows. So let's go and feed, clean, and milk Dixie because that's like our main thing of the day. And then I'm going to have Jackson clean out both of the sheds. And we did get a notification in the last episode saying that our chickens were nearing the end of their lives. And I really don't want to see the Grim Reaper pop up like eight times to take them away. They'll also get like a sad moodlet from that. I'm just, I don't want to go through all that. So we're just going to trade them probably just for simoleons. Um, and then we can start over with some chicks. Uh, George May is heading back into the house to go play dolls. Kai, did you end up cleaning this up? No, you didn't. Try that again, please. Clean with vigor. Uh, so as I was saying, before Kai caught fire, um, he is still feeling depressed about the loss of Ty. Um, they were no longer in a relationship, obviously. They had recently divorced, but he spent a really long time, uh, with Ty. They were a big part of each other's lives. I guess I would say they were, pro if I had to put a number on it, it's hard in The Sims to put a number on things in years anyway. Um, I would say probably, hold on, something weird just happened in build mode. Probably 20, 30 years? I would say 30 years. Again, hard to say for sure, but they did spend a lot of their time together. And it's definitely a sad thing that he is now gone. Um, I'm gonna actually have him do some gardening. He hates gardening. He hates all farming things. I think in a way Kai kind of resents the farm life. He did move away from Evergreen Harbor where he was really thriving. He loved it there as a recycler. Or what is, what is he? Um, yeah, recycle disciple. That was really his place. He just loved it there. He moved to Henford on Bagley because Scarlet and uh, Ty really wanted to be here. They both had the animal enthusiast trait and this is where they wanted to be. So Kai picked up and he moved to kind of make them happy. And I feel like in a way he resents the farm life. This is just not for him. He doesn't really like doing this, but he's here. He's getting things done. Jackson was cleaning those out. I'm going to go over here now. Let's make the time to trade these. We're going to trade for simoleons. I just don't like the idea of trading them for meat I mean I know that it makes sense and it's realistic but um yeah I just don't want to see them die even though they're not really worth that much this is kind of sad and mean 
I don't really believe in doing this. I believe you stick with your pets till the bitter end, but this is a game and I don't want my Sims to be sad when they die. Okay, Scarlet. Oh, you know what, Scarlet, you're not done. Hold on, come back over here. Why is, sometimes the animals just um, stay want to stay in the shed like all day. Oh, I'm trying to get all these done. We have so many of them. I think we missed this one. And I do believe there's still one in the coop as well. Why can't we do this? That's weird. I'm trying to trade these and it's not working. Is it because they're walking away? <laughs> I don't know. He's so confused. I think it's because they're going into the coop and there's really nothing he can do about that. All right. Uh, well, we still have, I think, two left that we did not get to um, get to trade in. This, this brown one, like they just kind of walk away. They've got different plans. Okay, you know what? Where is Clover? Because um, she's next. She needs to be milked and um, cleaned and fed and all of that. Oh, Georgia May. I forgot about her too. You know what? She's just playing in the leaves in her pajamas. I obviously completely forgot about her, which does happen. Uh, also, Annabelle, I'm going to have her make friends at school today. You know what? She's loving this. Um, both of her parents are like, nah, you're done. I'm going to actually teleport her back inside. It's just way too far to actually walk, so I don't want to do that. And is there a potty down here? Yes, we'll go use that. Oh, Jackson, the uh, the garden. That was something I kind of forgot about. Let's go deal with that. We need to spray and weed as well. And what I was hoping to get done in this episode is um, the rest, not the rest of, but the last thing we need to do for Scarlet's Aspiration, we have to forge five items from the Bramblewood. So I do want to get that done as well. That'll be a very simple thing to do. It won't take very much time. Uh, the problem is you just don't really get a day off around here. Uh, there's always work to be done and usually it takes all day. So That'll be a bit of a tougher one just to make the time for, but we can do that. Uh, tomorrow is Saturday, so I would love to be able to make time to get that done. Okay, so he's doing that. Maybe I'll have him go and um, burn some of these leaf piles because they're just hanging around. Oh, also, we harvested the pumpkins from the garden, and I wanted to use them for decor, so I did actually put them around the front door here. And then I put one on the table. So I, I want to celebrate Harvest Fest. I feel like this family would be really into Harvest Fest. I think it has come and gone technically. Um, yeah, because winter starts tomorrow. Maybe we'll do Harvest Fest for tomorrow. Um, there's festivals going. Oh, there's a there's a cow fair going on tomorrow as well. And the Roma. There's a lot going on. Um. I really want to add Harvest Fest though. <laughs> Day off work or school, it doesn't really matter because it's a Saturday. We are going to go with, um, I just want to do a grand meal. I think there's like maybe thankful spirit. We could do that. And I would say that's probably all we need to do. Is that, oh, gardening. We'll add that on there. Why not? Festival lighting, festive spirit, exercise. Who would add that to a holiday? That's weird. Um, we're just going to call it Harvest Fest. Uh, like I said, I think it's already come and gone, but we're going to do our own for tomorrow. Okay, Georgia May is using the potty. I'll have her go nap on the couch. Kai is going to clean up some dishes. You know what? He really doesn't do that much around here. He's not that helpful. I know he's on his last legs. I shouldn't expect too much from him. Let's go fill the animal feed. There's just always so much going on here. And then we can also trade this chicken now that it's just out wandering around. I really don't want any of them to die. I would prefer <laughs> if I could trade them all before they die on me. And we're going to take a little bit of a break from pregnancy as well. I just, Scarlet doesn't handle pregnancy that well. And I kind of feel bad for her. So 
Okay, Scarlet is home. What can we have her do? Can she, like, water some plants? No, she can't. Tell a story about bed bugs. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll just have her go on the swings for a bit. There's really nothing that needs to get done. It is the weekend, so her homework isn't a huge priority right now. Uh, Keanu, you want to hang out with me? I could use your company. No, thank you. That is her... I want to say uncle? Yeah, that's Kai's half-brother. So yeah, that would be her uncle. So it looks like we have no chickens. <laughs> We're completely out of chickens. So I guess we'll purchase some new ones. We're going to go with... Uh, maybe a couple of those. Just We don't need too many roosters. I think that's probably enough. That's seven out of eight. Let's also get... Do we want chicks? Um, maybe later. <laughs> we go, we just hatch an egg as well. All right, we need to go and feed them as well. Um, okay, so Annabelle is going to go play on the swings, or she was going to. What is you up? Oh, he's, what, what is going on? Kai just kind of wanders the house. I really think he's getting old. Well, I know that he's getting old, but it's like he's getting a little bit senile. He kind of just wanders around. He's never really accomplishing anything. You'll most likely find him walking around the outside of the perimeter, like the perimeter of the house. And I, I don't even really know why. It's very weird. Uh, also, somebody mentioned, I, I know it takes me forever to see your comments because of my weird recording schedule, but someone did tell me that the cake decorating is part of the, um, the gourmet cooking skill, which I did not know. So I'm glad that I have that information now. Oh, Kai, you're going to have to take care of the baby. I know it's been a minute, but yeah, because Kai, um, he actually didn't really take care of Scarlet that much when she was a baby. I think Ty did most of the work. Kai was very busy with his um, like projects and his aspiration and his work that he really didn't do very much child care. So this is kind of a new experience for him. I don't know if he's really even enjoying it. No, not really. He doesn't really feel any type of way from taking care of uh, Cheyenne. Uh, how's our garden looking? Okay, good. Oh, now Monty shows up to pull the weeds. Thanks. He's a little late. Uh, burning some leaves. That always looks scary, but it's good. It's all good. And I will have him come go to the washroom. Uh, Annabelle have her come inside too because this food is going to be almost ready so i'm going to work on her gourmet cooking skill so that we can do some more of the cake decorating okay grab a serving i'll have everybody come and eat ah alicia montgomery oh that would be his sister okay i think that's everyone yes annabelle's sleeping on a park bench i don't know why that's really weird. All right, anyway, <laughs> that was just very odd. Oh, how old is Georgia May? So she ages up in two days. So I'm excited for that. She'll be a little bit more independent. I'm gonna put this in the fridge. I think baby Jackson, actually, you know what? Let's, we should go to the Bramblewood while we have like a few minutes to do that. Not very much time at all. I don't even actually know where the Bramblewood is. Um, we're just going to go by herself because I feel like it's all, it's going to be all, we're going to come back to a household that is just falling apart. I already know it. That's how this always goes. If you leave a household for a couple of hours, you come back and nobody has taken care of themselves and it's just, it's crazy. So I don't want to leave for too long. Uh, the Bramblewood. Okay. So I thought maybe we lived in that area but we don't so we're gonna travel over there and see what we can find I think we have to harvest five different items I would love to be able to take my time doing this but because we have such a big family and it's not getting any smaller um, any time that we leave this household is not gonna be a good time so we might as well just get it over with um, and then we can move on to the last milestone or the, I guess the last few milestones of her aspiration uh, and then Annabelle, she doesn't age up for quite a while, like another week or so. So no idea what her aspiration is going to be. She has the lactose intolerant trait, which really does not help. <laughs> I really don't know what that means. Uh, this was actually, a, I put this house here. It's from the gallery. 
I was thinking of buying this house for them when um, Scarlett and Jackson were looking to move out, but this one was just a little bit too small. Um, okay, so we need to forage five items. Let's go, um, I mean, like literally anywhere is fine. We could dig here. Um, there's some like little green mushrooms right here. We could, uh, I don't want to uproot it because that's not really foraging. That's just like that's something different. Uh, <laughs> we got upgrade parts. Um, we could lure rabbits. That's not the same. Um, let me just see what happens if we uproot this plant. I don't think that counts as foraging. No, it doesn't. Like all you've done is, <laughs> all you've done is make a mess. Okay, forget that. I don't think we can take this because it's not on our property. Yeah, none of this can come with us. This might be more complicated than I thought. Oh, that's the creature keeper. Interesting. Okay, well, I'm doing a really bad job at this. Also, I think I chose a bad time of year to come here. Um, I can't find anything. This is crazy. I thought this would be, like, super easy. This place is just, like overrun with stuff but nothing that we can take i don't know if fishing would count let me just read this um travel to the bramblewood neighborhood in hanford on begley locate a harvestable hidden in the woods and collect it yeah i think i've chosen a really bad time of year to do this because nothing is harvestable at the moment um these are just for like rabbits and frogs this is really unfortunate. I, and you know what? Like winter is the next season, so it's not like it's gonna get any better. Uh, can't collect bugs. Oh, there's this thing. I don't know what that's gonna be. That's a blueberry plant that is not growing. <laughs> I never should have come here. I really should have just left it. Uh, we can go dig that. I don't know what it's gonna be. This is proving to be a waste of my time. Uh, yeah, I don't see it. There's just a few dig piles here and there, but other than that, with it being winter, uh, not winter time, uh, fall, there aren't very many things to harvest or forage. Um, okay, I'm gonna keep looking for a few more minutes, but we're probably just gonna have to come back another time because this is not, clearly not working. I'm looking absolutely everywhere. Probably even places that we can't actually get to. This is taking a long time. I have so many regrets <laughs> coming here. Yeah, we got a limestone. That doesn't count. Okay, you know what? We're going to go home because this is obviously the wrong time to be here. So we're going to switch control that was a complete waste of our time. Now I know uh, to come back probably in the spring. So that's unfortunate because it kind of means that we can't work on her aspiration during that time. So that's all right. We do have um, quite a bit of time, I think, because how old is Annabelle? Yeah, she's still only a child. We have a lot of time to finish that aspiration. It's not, I'm not in a big rush. I do want to take a quick look at the next things on the list because just so I can kind of like mentally prepare. Um, so we need to reach maximum relationship with a cow, chicken, or llama, receive three gifts from a rabbit or bird, win a competition in the Henford on Bagley's Finchwick Fair. Someone did warn me that that might be more complicated than it sounds. Oh, what's happening there? Okay, two became one. That's really weird. Um, yeah, so that somebody did say that that is a little bit more complicated than it seems. Uh, so I, I am prepared for that. Everybody is in a better mood than I was expecting, honestly. Okay, Scarlet, I'm going to have her go take a bath and go to bed. Oh, what just happened? Oh, hold on a sec. Something just happened with her aspiration. Every All of our progress is gone. Yeah, so we had all three of these done and now it says they're not done. Um, hopefully that's just a glitch and it's gonna go away because I don't like that. Complain about strenuous activity. Oh, Kai should not be exercising. <laughs> that's too much exercise for him, he's old. Just go to bed, don't worry about, don't worry about that. 
And then Jackson, I'll have him come take a shower and go to bed as well. Let me check on her aspiration again. Okay, yeah, it did go back to normal. I think that was just a quick uh, glitch, maybe from her traveling or something, but it did go back to normal, so I think we're okay. You know what? You're wasting time. Just go straight to bed. Um, all right, Kai is off to bed as well. This baby will wake us up any moment now. I just know it. It's almost Cheyenne's birthday. Yeah, I guess today would probably be Cheyenne's birthday. Um, and then also, how old is Kai? Because we do have space for one more child. And that is part of the plan, but I just not quite yet. I like to not have uh, two toddlers at once. At once, That's kind of how I try to space it out a little bit. Um, just because that's a lot of work. Unless they're twins and I have no choice. <laughs> Alright. She can go to bed. And then also, let me just double check that it is her birthday. Um, there's a lot going on today. Uh, festival, birthday. Yeah, so it is Cheyenne's birthday. Tomorrow is someone's birthday too. Oh, it's Georgia May's birthday tomorrow. And by tomorrow, I mean Sunday, because it is now Saturday morning. So that'll be in the next episode. We can age up Georgia May and Annabelle should still have another seven, eight days. Still quite a bit of time, but honestly, I am enjoying playing in this household so much that I don't mind at all. I'm, I just, this, this challenge is so fun for me. And for a little while, I was too busy to play and I forgot how much I really enjoy it. And now... Uh, by the time you see this video, the werewolf pack is already out, but as I'm recording this, it's not quite out yet. Um, I will not be getting that pack right away. Maybe at some point, I'm just not a huge fan of um, any kind of like occult in The Sims, like aliens, mermaids, vampires, just not really into it. So I don't anticipate that I will be playing much of that. I don't think I'll even do like a let's play. I just, I just want to play this. This is all I want to do. Okay, Georgia May is still asleep. She can sleep for a bit longer. And Jackson, I'm going to get him up and he can shower. Oh, you know what? We can also age up Cheyenne because I do want to see what she looks like. We should add a bathroom. Well, you know what? If Kai wasn't so old, I would add a bathroom over here to his little like suite uh, because he has to use the bathroom that's all the way inside the house and with his old bladder he can barely make it but um it would be nice to have a bathroom over there but he's just so old he's not going to be around for much longer anyway so yeah today is harvest fest um the traditions are gardening uh thankful spirit and grand meal so we will do all of those things uh georgia may oh there we go Cheyenne is independent. Good. We love to see it. And she, oh, she actually has brown hair like Jackson. That's interesting. I will be giving her a makeover as well. Okay, how are you coming? How's that French toast coming along? It feels like it's taken a really long time. Okay, Georgia May. What just happened? Oh, we reached cooking level 10. That actually did not take very long. All right, so everybody can grab some breakfast and then we'll pretty much get started on the chores for the day. I want to make just make sure that Georgia May is actually getting some French toast cookies. She's coming down the stairs. Uh, all right, how old is Kai? Yeah, he's getting there. I'm going to get him to nag Annabelle. He's just not that pleasant. <laughs> That's kind of why I wanted him to be here. He can nag her, and then he can also give Scarlet a hard time. At this point, I think Scarlet just feels, um, I don't know, she feels bad for her dad because he's alone now, and that's why she let him live here, but they really don't have that close of a relationship. I think he has damaged that relationship a lot over the years, especially um with how he treats her kids i think i wouldn't say he's evil to them and he's not even necessarily mean he's just he's just not nice <laughs> and i don't think he has that much of a connection with anyone in his family to be honest i don't think he ever has uh and the thing with kai is that 
whenever I have a mean sim, it's hard for me to actually get them to be me, to actively be a mean sim because I always feel bad. And because I like the sim so much that I don't want to do that. But in Kai's case, it's a little bit easier because I had him sort of just pull back from his family and keep to himself. And even when he does interact with his family, it's not that pleasant. So, I mean, he's not actively being mean. He's just not really being that nice <laughs> and not really connecting with anyone. All right, so I'm getting them started on the chores. Annabelle, uh, yes, I'll have her actually go to the washroom. And then what can she do? I mean, she can come... What could she do? Clean the coop? Oh, you know what? We can get chickens for this one. Yeah, we have two. I completely forgot. Let's just get... Um, let's get some chicks. And some roosters. There we go. We got a healthy mix there. So I'll have... Um, I'll have Annabelle come do that. And then Jackson, you can go over here and take care of Dixie. Does it say how old Dixie is? Even when I hover over her, it didn't give me... Oh, there we go. Uh, it just says she's an adult, so it doesn't say that she's, like, super old. Okay, we'll clean that. And then Georgia May... Why are you not eating? Does this kid not like French toast? What's happening? <laughs> she will not eat. Like, I've been trying to get her to eat all morning. Okay, there we go. I think she's like fairly committed. Uh, so now Scarlet, I think I'll have her go and uh, clean both of the animal sheds. And then Annabelle, what are you doing? Oh, is there a fire? Uh, thinking about fire. Okay, yeah, she just uh, she just remembered it and it was upsetting. Um, Annabelle, I still wanted her to like do some chores if we can. Doesn't look like there is anything to be done. Oh, she can rake. I forgot about that. And she just kind of volunteered to do it. Yeah, I forgot about that. Let's have her rake. All right. So I think I'm going to leave this episode here. And we will celebrate Harvest Fest in the next episode. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.